Hey, welcome back to Business Repair Shop, day two of the truck project. Got my new yoke, seal in, get this installed. This will be ready to go back in. And uh, we'll get this thing back on the road today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll get right back to the action. All right, sorry, we're back. Sorry, it's a little bit later than the last video. So you can see the hub's in there, the new axle shaft's in, the new stub nose. What I ended up doing, there's a seal that goes in there. That seal I showed you, really pain in the butt to get that in there. So what I did was I used my old wheel bearing to drive in and press that seal in. Everything looks gets a little dark right here now because it's getting dark, so I'm trying to finish this up. But then what I'm gonna do is I'll put that hub, Um. That old wheel hub, because my hubs won't come in, my full drive hubs, my locking hubs won't come in until Monday. I got a way to put that old one in, and it'll be fine. So I'm going to get you set up, and you can watch as we finish this all up. All right, I figured out I can actually uh, use my phone as the light. So, yeah, so I'll the tire part ends back in so I can turn it. So, yeah, this shaft's now nice and spinny. Nice and a whole lot better. Get that all greased up. Actually, I'll grease all these points real quick. Do that fast, and then I'll keep reassembling but yeah actually i'll do that once i get a little more farther along move you over here you like that you like that view better maybe yeah yeah like that anyway so yeah so that's very much today's project went into work did some uh boating hopefully we'll have all of that video out on the west horsepower's page next week sometime Pretty good day out on the water. Real good day out on the water, actually. I mean, it was good. A little chilly, but not too bad. This tire on inside. No, I'll say uh, another thing I'm gonna actually fix. I don't know if you can see in the shot. My uh, steering stabilizer uh, shock is shot. All the all the go-go juice leaked out. It wasn't from when it was finally could sit and it could leak out when it did it. So that kind of sucks, but that's another thing to do. You'll probably see it here on the channel. It's tight. Get one more turn. Here we go. Cotter keys up on the up on the bench. So I'll put those on next time I have to get up. I got so they only had the one with the ABS, and this doesn't have ABS, so which isn't that big of a deal. So I'm just gonna tie this up there. Kind of run it like how you would if you had ABS on it. Actually, I'll wait till I get the brake assembly on. So for the time being, I'll just shove it through this hole. Back here. That, that's where I'll go. We'll go back there. All right. So I need the rotor and calipers already over there. Shouldn't be need to be opened up. Do that quick. bolt up there hand tight keeps it from sliding down makes it easier to install
All right, get that tightened up. Go through and grease everything. And uh, bring you back once I put the hub on. Right back. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do on this is kind of halfway reassemble a hub. So this hub, you remember when I took it apart, was basically pretty used and abused. So what I'm gonna do is, I got new ones coming tomorrow or Monday. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of halfway assemble it where um, I can drive it, test it, and then when I get the new parts Monday, I can just throw them on real quick. It doesn't take too much to put those on. So basically, the pieces that actually lock the, the hub to the spline, I'm not putting in, which is all this stuff. This is the piece that actually turns this gear set. But then, basically with the spring, this locks on for the two. But I'm not putting that on. I haven't put that gear set on. So that'll just sit in here. It can't, it can only ride out to here, which is fine. It won't go anywhere. And then I'll put the hub back on. I got the, the cover on. Like I said, normally, definitely not the right way to do this, but it means I don't have the parts. It's kind of the only option I have. And like I said, it's not, it's not gonna damage anything. Everything's gonna be just fine. Because it won't even know. It's basically just gonna pretend it's a two-wheel drive truck, which is what I've been doing for years. So we'll just get that on there. Tighten it up with a couple bolts. We'll get the tire back on and hopefully be taking it for a drive here pretty soon. This probably where I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, so uh, I'll be working on the 60 tonight when I get done with this project. So you might be seeing up a 60 video coming up in a couple days by tomorrow. So make sure to like and subscribe. I said, see, let me know how you like the truck uh, work. I was a little bit different. How I did this one mostly because working on your own truck. I don't know. So when you're working on a tractor, you're like, oh, this is kind of fun. I'm working on your own truck. Fun time is not that much. So I didn't film as much of this because you'd be heck high So we'll be right back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.